Hey, Kekers here, coming to you with a new game from Neowiz and Team Sun Eat. Now this is my first Team Sun Eat game, but Neowiz with the publishers are one of my favorite games of this year, Skull the Hero Slayer. So let's take a look at Blade Assault. The game puts you in control of Kill, a cyber warrior in a cyberpunk cityscape, on a quest for revenge against his former employers who left him for dead. After being cast to the lowest rungs of society, you meet up with the resistance movement and fight your way back to the top unlocking various weapons and powers along the way. The story is still very sparse with the game in early development, but already the look and feel of the characters give off a good Ghost in the Shell slash Cowboy Bebop sensibility. The plans for all these characters are still largely unknown, but one thing that I did spend quite a bit of time for was the actual combat, which is, in a word, amazing. The game currently starts you off with a choice of three weapons, a chain blade for fast and frenetic combos, an energy axe for decisive hits and massive charge attacks, and a machine gun that basically turns this into a game of Contra. Upon defeating the myriad types of enemies and destroying objects in the environment, you're given various forms of currency exchanged for new power-ups and abilities that reset upon death, because yes, this is a roguelike and you're gonna die a lot. Perhaps it's just my crappy reflexes, but that combined with the large swarms of enemies mean you're gonna have to get good fast. The main deal are the element cores, which charge up your weapons with fire, ice, and lightning, and allow you to mix and match various powers on your character, or focus on upgrading along a very specific path. But yeah, the game's still in early development, but I'm going to be watching this with great interest. But for now, this is Kekker saying, bye bye